welcome everyone so today we are going to understand how to find the value of x in this particular question see the first job of any person who wants to solve these kind of questions we'll try to shift the variables on one side and the constant on another side now how do i do it i'll do the x root on both sides at the same time i can do the ninth root also so that the variable and the constants can come on their respective sides now remember a raised to m the whole raised to n can be written as a raised to m multiplied by n so this becomes 3 raised to x multiplied by 1 upon x multiplied by 1 upon 9 here we have x raised to 9 multiplied by 1 upon x multiplied by 1 upon 9 now if you see things are cancelling and I have 3 raised to 1 upon 9 is equals to x raised to 1 upon x. Now if here also I had 3 or here I had 9 then in that case I could have directly said that the value of x is either 3 or 9. Now here if I can say that this is basically 1 right so this 1 can be written as let's write it as 3 upon 3 now what do I do is I'll write the 3 inside and I will I write this 1 upon 9 multiplied by 3 this is basically x raised to 1 upon x now 3 raised to 3 is what 27 raised to 1 upon 9 multiplied by 3 that is also 1 upon 27 is equals to x raised to 1 upon x so from here I can say therefore value of x is basically 27. Okay, please understand in variables especially with indices you need to make sure the pattern on your LHS is exactly matching the pattern on your RHS. Only from then if it does then you can deduce that value of x is equal to the constant on your LHS. I hope this is very very clear to everyone. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.